A new study shows a record number of households, one in five, are dealing with college debt. And on top of that, more middle-aged Americans are paying student loans. But here's the surprise. Those loans aren't for their own education. ABC2 News' Josie Sturman is working for you tonight, and she explains how the painful increase in college expenses is often being felt by a lot of parents. Jean Andes and her husband Mark Hilliard had the best of intentions when it came to saving for their kids' college. However, it's hard to save when you're paying a mortgage and your utilities. So when their daughter Kayla and son Ian went off to school, scholarships didn't cover it. They took out loans, lots of them. Two four-year degrees added up to $120,000 worth of debt. It cost us as much to borrow to put our children, two children through college than it did to buy our house. They're part of a growing number of Americans facing massive loan amounts to help their kids cover college costs. There's an increasing trend with uh, people who are age 40 to 50 having uh, the fastest growing uh, amount of student loan debt outstanding. Mark Kantrowitz of FineAid.org points out it's typically not debt from their own undergraduate degrees they owe. Instead, it's a different kind of debt. Current PLUS loan, debt from their graduate education, and from co-signing on private student loans. The amount borrowed for Parent PLUS loans, the loans offered through the federal government, has doubled in the last decade, with an average balance of $34,000. More parents than ever are now borrowing for their children's educations, and the average amount of debt the parents are taking on is also growing. It's the only form of federal education loans that uh, doesn't have an annual or an aggregate loan limit. Yeah. That's a critical point when combined with the climbing cost of college. Before the credit crisis, about half of all private student loans required co-signers. In the aftermath of the credit crisis, I mean, today, more than 90% of new private student loans require co-signers. Jean and Mark co-signed for their kids. They hope to have everything paid off in 7 to 10 years. Kantrowitz stresses parents shouldn't co-sign for or take out loans that will take longer than a decade to pay off. If they're borrowing more than that, it's going to eat into their retirement. Even though they have no regrets, Jean and Mark admit this debt is making a dent in their lifestyle. Josie Sturman, ABC2 News. Well, Cantorowitz makes a point of telling parents and students to only borrow what they really need. There's a tendency to borrow to the loan limit, and that's not always necessary.